voicemail boxes in VTDAO. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a voicemail box using VTDAO. And we'll start by going into the administration section of VTDAO, of course. Um, there are really two ways to create voicemail boxes. You can create an independent standalone voicemail box by going to admin and voicemail or you can create a voicemail box off of one of your existing extensions so I'll show you both uh, but let's start with the independent voicemail box so so basically uh, you go to admin and go to voicemail and as you see there's no voicemail boxes here and so we'll just go to add new voicemail entry you can create a box number, any number you'd like. Um, let's say voicemail box 1000. Um, password uh, 12345. Uh, you want to make a password numeric because um, you have to be able to punch it in you know, once you're trying to retrieve your voicemail messages. Your name, I could say, well, Robert Wilson. Uh, it needs to be active. And email. You, this VTDAO system will email you your voicemail messages so let's put that in here so I'll say Robert at etollfree.net and hit submit boom there you have it it's uh, uh here it, here's my voicemail box it's 1000 Robert Wilson my email address is active delete after email I always select yes for that uh, you don't want your your reach it out system to to hold too much information because it could cause it to crash if you have way too many voicemail box and recordings so I'm always cognizant about keeping um, the system clean of any unnecessary data so deleting your voicemails out the email is really a good thing especially if you are getting your voicemails through email and hit submit and that voicemail box is now active alright now let me show you how to configure a voicemail using an existing extension and to do that what we're going to do is go to phones and we're going to go to an extension that we already have which is a uh, SA6000 there's only a few options you have to configure here and it's very simple just have to make sure that your voicemail box has a number in it which for my extension 6000 the voice mailbox is 6000 and here on the login password is the password that you're going to use to access your voice mailbox make sure that this login password doesn't have any um, if you doesn't have any uh, alphanumeric characters in it because uh, you won't be able to access it using the touch tone phone so as you see here we have 1233 as the password alrighty um, also again here's the email address if you want to get your emails sent to you if you want to get your voicemail sent to you through your email and here's uh, where you can delete it of course afterwards and just save it okay now that is done let's go ahead and test it real quick so I've got my cell phone up here alright and first we're just going to make a sample test message so I'm gonna dial my own extension from my cell phone I'm going to hit call it and I'm going to as you see here I got two calls one going out and one coming in I'm going to decline it the person at extension six zero 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 hello this is a test message thank you thank you and as you can see, I've created a um, voicemail a test message, and here we have a email that just came in from the system. If you click here. Hello, this is a test message. Thank you. All right, that's enough for that. All right, and if you want to check your voicemails from your extension, dial 8500. Comedian mail mailbox value extension number password you have no messages press 2 to change folders 
Now, of course, it says you have no messages because um, it deleted the the voicemail after it emailed it to me, which is good. So if you change that to no, of course, you can retrieve your your voicemails by dialing your password. Alrighty, and that's it. Thank you very much.